Hello, I'm Glenda Harbert. I am um, a wife, a mother, a grandmother, um, a dog mom, a flower mother. I came to this work with the Pathways Project and Supportive Care for Kidney Patients. Really, for me, it started way back when I was in, in nursing school, uh, which, <laughs> shall I say, was 1970. And, um, and I was exposed to the work of Kuba Ross. And that work really resonated with me around good death um, and around uh, death and dying, grief. Even though at the time I hadn't had any close experiences with death, death necessarily, it still spoke to me immediately and I carried that with me as I went into nursing practice, actually practicing when I did really experience death close up and personal. And I became even more convinced that there needed to be a better way for medicine to support patients as they reach towards the end of life. Uh, there had to be something more than just this intensive ongoing medical treatment, really just sort of pretending like no one would ever die. Nurses in the kidney world, care of people with kidney failure, really are uh, most of the time, they're the leader of the direct care team from a, on a day-to-day -day basis. They assess, they evaluate, uh, they plan, they evaluate care and outcomes, they supervise uh, other licensed and non-licensed members of the team. Um, oftentimes uh, in the outpatient setting, they lead the quality program in conjunction with the medical director of the uh, dialysis facility. So the role is varied. Importantly, I think, especially in this work with kidney patients because of the chronicity of it, the fact that we take care of patients for years and years, and we see them three times a week if they're on dialysis, or if they're on in-center dialysis, I should say. But either way, we have an ongoing relationship with these patients for a long period of time. Nurses get to know their stories. We get to know who they are. We get to know their families in many cases. And, um, and a lot of times, actually, patients talk about the dialysis center as if it is sort of its own little family. It certainly is its own little society. Um, these patients spend lots of time together. They spend lots of time with us, the caregivers, and they get to know all of us. All of us get to know each other, and we celebrate joys and sorrows together as well. So the nurse is the leader. The nurse also carries the heart of the work with, like we hope certainly that all caregivers do. They bring that heart to the work, the love of the patient, the need for the patient to have patient-centered care, to get the kind of care that they want and need and, re and, and deserve to have. 